Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on Chelsea left back Emerson Pielmeri. Now you notice I'm not in the studio today, I'm recording from my office but hopefully it doesn't matter. Anyway, before we do get into today's video, I would like to request that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell notifications icon because I upload every single day. All right, so Emerson, Chelsea's left back. He's sort of been getting on with his business quite, I guess quietly over the last, I don't know, couple of seasons or however long he's been at Chelsea. Obviously, everyone has noticed he's now Chelsea's starting left back. But before I do get into his sort of statistics, and I want to show you why I think he's incredibly good, the reason, another reason I guess why I wanted to do this video is Chelsea were heavily linked to left back Ben Chilwell, who is an incredibly good left back, one of the best in the Premier League, and by all accounts, England's starting left back. But I think this is a completely unnecessary purchase, and Chelsea have an incredibly good weapon in Emerson. He's a good age, he's definitely serviceable defensively, and he offers a lot going forwards. I've already done a video on Emerson, um, looking at his season at Chelsea, so go and check that out. It's called The Importance of Emerson Palmieri, and basically I highlight his statistics on how well he performed and generally why he's been such a great player for Chelsea. But this is a new season and we've got a new coach and I guess, well, the tactics are different and the approach is different. So a new video and I kind of want to look at how he's been performing so far. Most of Chelsea were really good in the Super Cup against Liverpool, but I want to highlight the two Premier League games Chelsea have played. Granted, they didn't win either of them, but that was not Emerson's fault, and when I bring up these numbers shortly, you'll see why. And you know what? I want to turn this into a comparison video. So I thought, hmm, what's the benchmark in left backs in the Premier League? Well, there's one name that comes to everyone's mind usually, and that's Liverpool's Andy Robertson. So, both Liverpool and Chelsea have both played two games so far this season in the Premier League. Liverpool played Norwich at home, and then they went away to play Southampton. Chelsea played Manchester United away at Old Trafford and then they played Leicester at home. So already and quite obviously Chelsea have had the much harder fixtures. Liverpool got the results they needed and took six points out of the two games. Chelsea only took one point but again that's a collective team sort of effort. So I want to highlight the performances of how the left backs have been playing in these games. So on that, let's bring up the statistics page. So let's get into it. A comparison between Andy Robertson and Emerson. As previously stated, both players have played two games so far and they played the full 90 minutes so that's 180 minutes each. So let's start with the defensive numbers. From their initial two performances, Emerson averaged a very handsome six tackles and interceptions per game, where Andy Robertson could only manage 3.5 tackles and interceptions per game. Now usually I'll put in the disclaimer here that Liverpool are a very dominant team and therefore have to defend less, but the fact is Norwich came at them quite hard with some attacking play and they did not have it their own way at all at Southampton and kind of struggled for the most part, so they did have to put in the defensive work. But in terms of successful defensive actions, Emerson wiped the floor with him in these two games. Emerson also averaged 1.5 clearances per game across the 180 minutes, and Andy Robertson only managed one. So, how did both left backs perform offensively over these first initial two games? Well, in terms of taking shots on, Emerson took more. He was taking two shots per game to Andy Robertson's 1.5, which is actually quite a lot for Robertson. We've seen Emerson score great long-range goals for Chelsea, and often, he never misses. He gets them on target from really far out, or usually, you know, pings the woodwork or something. Very accurate long shot on him. When it comes to take-ons per game, Emerson averages 1.5 and Andy Robertson could only average one. Emerson is actually incredibly good in possession and protecting the ball. He was very, very good last season, but across these two games, he won three fouls per game, where Andy Robertson could only win 0.5 per game. So basically, Robertson gets dispossessed, 
when in possession, but Emerson defends the ball and possession really well, and if he ha can't play the pass out, he wins his team the foul. And let's just take a look at some passing. This is actually pretty even, and it's kind of what you'd expect from left backs playing, well, certainly one playing under Jurgen Kopp and like to play with possession, and Palmieri, who's played a season under Sari, who's a passing coach. Both of them make one key pass per game, and when it comes to passing accuracy, Andy Robertson has 83%, and Emerson has 83.5%, so he trumps him by just a little bit. But to be honest, Chelsea's style of play at the moment is a lot more risky than Liverpool's, and Emerson's been taking far more risks, and a lot of the play's been going down the left flank down his side. So for him to still execute an 83.5% passing accuracy, that's incredibly impressive. And finally, I want to cite the rating that the website Who scored gave both the players. Andy Robertson's been given a 7.05 rating, and Emerson has been given a 7.46 rating, which is really good. And in fact, Emerson's been Chelsea's second highest ranked player this season across these two games. Interestingly, he's only behind Mason Mount, and you'd argue that's probably because of Mount's goal and shots on target. Pretty interesting, right? So for the moment, that's enough of the stats page. All right, I get it. This is only across two games, but it is important to note Chelsea's games were harder. They're under a new coach, and a lot more has been going through Emerson, yet he's delivering better numbers. And like I said, this is not just a purple patch he's going through. I did a whole video on how he was consistent last season and was an excellent player. I think Emerson's really, really underrated, you know. He had a good work ethic. He came to Chelsea, probably hoping to play more and had to play second fiddle to Marcus Alonso, but really didn't get that many chances, but ultimately his quality came through. And at first people thought he was just a serviceable left back, that sort of, while Marcus Alonso's a better left wing back, he's a sort of okay left back, so therefore he'll fit it better than Alonso does. But the fact is, he's a really good weapon, and a lot of the attack can go through him. I think when Eden Hazard was still at the club, and Emerson broke through into the team on that left hand side, Chelsea started playing a lot, lot better. Emerson is a lot better than Marcus Alonso when it comes to combining and offensive passages of play. And also, when Ruben Loftus-Cheek was playing and there was that sort of holy trinity of Emerson, Loftus-Cheek and Hazard playing down the left and left centre, Chelsea looked really great in the attack. But that doesn't come at the expense of a poor defensive performance. He can get back, he gets up and down the flanks so well, in the Super Cup final, he was excellent as well, which the statistics weren't brought into this comparison, but he was very, very good. For 120 minutes, he was going up and down, up and down, never stopped, and always getting the important, decisive defensive actions in, while still obviously being crucial in the attack. So, Emerson's incredibly impressive, and he's getting better. He's obviously played on the three coaches now, I believe. I think Conte might have bought him at Chelsea, and he's retained a lot of tactical information. He's very, very quick, but I think he's really gained confidence, grown into himself, and he's been given the license by Frank Lampard to get forward, take people on, combine with the forwards, take risks, and maybe most importantly, take shots on from long range, because the guy's got a great shot on him. But anyway, I want to get your guys' thoughts on the matter. How do you feel about Emerson Palmieri? Do you agree with me in thinking he's an excellent player that is getting better and probably suits Frank Lampard's team and style? Or do you think maybe Chelsea should go in for a player like Ben Chilwell next summer when the transfer ban is lifted? Like I said, I personally think he's a great player and he's improving and he's a good age, but I want your thoughts, so get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, I'd like to request that you do like the video and why not subscribe to the channel if you are new. I also want to take a minute to plug the new show I'm doing on this Football Therapy channel. It's called Talking Chelsea, where I and a guest talk about Chelsea for about 30 odd minutes. So far I've had two guests on, I've had Eunice HH from his own YouTube channel and I've had George Benson from the George Benson Football Channel and that video went live this morning I believe. Me and George talk a lot about Chelsea, Frank Lampard and the current sort of status of the club and its direction. It's really worth giving it a watch so I'd urge you to go and check that out and expect some other big Chelsea related guests to come on soon. If you've got any suggestions of people that you'd like me to have on Talking Chelsea get down in the comments below as well and let me know that. Other than that guys, I want to plug my social media to you guys. You're welcome to follow me on both Twitter and Instagram at footballyannick. That is at 
football, Yannick. Right, that's it, guys. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Enjoy the football. I'm sure Chelsea's fortunes will turn very soon and Frank Lampard's vision and attacking football will come to fruition and players like Emerson Palmieri will only get better. So, enjoy the football and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.